On today's Warehouse Safety Tip Wednesday, we'll be covering a safety review, so stay tuned. Welcome to Warehouse Safety Tips. You can find the show notes to each episode, links to information mentioned on the podcast, the social media platforms we're on, and anything else related to the podcast at warehousesafetytips.com. Now, if you're a seasoned podcast listener, this podcast is going to be different from most you listen to. It's based around exactly what the name implies, warehouse safety tips. And since the people in this industry are busy, we know that time is money and each episode will be as short and to the point as possible. And now, with all of that out of the way, let's get to the podcast. If your facility is like most, you probably have one or all of the following. A sign showing how many days have gone by accident-free, and hopefully the number is super high. A glass case and or bulletin board displaying various safety, emergency, and evacuation procedures. A pre and or post shift safety briefing. Regular safety meetings. Ongoing safety training. But when was the last time you really took a look around your facility and reviewed all the safety in place? Doing so will not only allow yourself to be aware of what's in place, but also allow you to see what may possibly need removed changed and or added. After all, part of a solid 6S methodology is assuring constant and never-ending improvement. This can include but is by no means limited to assuring areas are free of clutter and arranged for maximum productivity and safety, reviewing all the signs and floor markings in your area and facility to assure that they're visible, in good shape, and applicable for their placement, Areas that are slick and or wet have proper mats, grip, signs, and or being kept dry regularly. Chemical showers and eyewash stations are functioning. Equipment, racks, and pallets are all in working condition. Fire extinguishers are up to date. Exit signs are all properly displayed and lit. And that's just a few of the things that you can look for. Most accidents and safety issues can be prevented by just taking the time to pay attention to the above mentioned items and your surroundings. And if doing so makes your days without an accident sign go higher and higher and send you home safe, then it's worth it. Before moving on, here's a word from one of our sponsors. If you've ever been to or worked in a warehouse, you know just how important safety is to both management and staff. It's almost impossible to go 10 steps without seeing safety tape, angles, signs, and or safety products. It's these items that show us how to be safe and avoid danger in the workplace. And if you're looking for the best products to make this happen, look no further than Mighty Line. Mighty Line floor signs and floor markings offer the best industrial products out there. We're proud to have Mighty Line as the official floor sign and floor marking company for the Warehouse Safety Tips podcast and site. Go to MightyLineTape.com forward slash safety tips to request a sample pack of their incredible safety signs and floor markings. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Warehouse Safety Tips. If you visit WarehouseSafetyTips.com, you'll find the show notes for this episode and access to all of our blog posts, previous podcasts, advertiser information, and much more. Thank you for listening to Warehouse Safety Tips and have a safe day.